D U T T. Two N's and two T's. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, howdy. <laughs> Oh, it will just be out of this world. Thanks, a man. Okay, You're welcome. Now, now back to the. Put the two together sure. and dry it. Sure. Okay. Okay. I was we just... Oh, it was fun. Just take put this in here. Okay. Well, I think that's going to work. Okay. Sure. Um, Let me take up a little slack yeah, that's, here. That's true. And How's that sound, Roger? You got your... Hello. Testing. This is Testing. Roger Bailey. Hello, Roger. Roger works in the... Uh, <laughs> this is an art science company. He works in the fine arts department. I work in the chemistry department. Right. He's obviously a audiovisual person. Yes. Yeah, without, without <laughs> but anyway, we're rolling, so uh, go ahead. And... Okay. okay. Well, I'm talking with Jerry Garcia. Uh, you obviously like Hawaii. Yes, I do. I like it very much. Now, as you know, the uh, rainforests in Hawaii are under some kind of threat. Yes, I realize that. And I just wondered how you felt about that. It, these, these forests are pretty small compared to some of the other rainforests we're worried about. That's true, but this is America's only authentic tropical rainforest. And it's the, in, the fact that it's endangered is, has to do with American policy, it makes it very hard for American environmentalists to go to Brazil or uh, or the Philippines or any other, number of other places and say, hey, listen, why don't you do something about your rainforest because this is our rainforest. If we lose it, then we've lost the game. The eminent domain um, uh, argument is the main argument in the third world countries about whether or not they should... Uh, um, Vandalize their rainforests or not, whether they should whether they should exploit them or not, and and as long as we are shown, seen to be a model of exploitation, then they, we have no argument. So it's that simple, really. If we can save this rainforest and by using uh, other alternatives for power, um, we uh, it would be a good thing globally. Mm -hmm. Good. What other kind of things is your band trying to promote on this front? Well. Uh, the rainforest has been kind of an ongoing thing, so that's kind of our, a, a large overview, or that's a kind of a global thing, but we also are concerned with the, the state, and locally, uh, for us, the San Francisco Bay has gotten to be one of our main concerns, and we're starting to, to do, uh, to try to get people to start cleaning up just the areas that they're in, and hoping to get a sort of a, a grassroots thing going, but uh, the, the, the anchorage business here in Hawaii has been one of my concerns that I've been active in, the, the, the reef, um, pr trying to protect the reefs here. But really, for us, uh, all environmental concerns are equally important. Some of the guys in the band live in Northern California where uh, national forests are being harvested. And this is, I mean, supposedly, this is going against U.S. policy. I mean, this is the, the American government, in this case, selling lumber, you know, from the from parks. So, and, and it's being paid for by the taxpayer. So it's one of those things that's, that's uh, I mean, it's, it's scandalous, really, you know. And uh, any, any place that we think that we can be helpful, that's where we try to get active. That's, that's really what it boils down to. You've been performing in front of a lot of young people for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Are you more hopeful today than, say, 10, 20 years ago? Uh, yeah, well, these same things were going on 10 and 20 years ago, but then nobody, nobody was doing anything about it. Now, it's starting to, actually, actually, the tables are starting to turn uh, just a little bit. I, I had a meeting not too long ago with a guy who's like a, a, a senator from Brazil, and he's kind of a Green Party guy, you know, a kind of a, their environmental network, and he was telling me about some slight changes in policy. I think if the World Bank would get off the geo, I mean, the, the big hydroelectric projects for third world countries, it might save a a lot of rainforest, but they've been pressing for that for a long time, thinking it, thinking in the, the the classic colonial sense. You know, this well, this is this is going to be good for these people. You know, it's um, it, but uh, but it's of course hugely destructive. Uh, this that's. Uh, there has been some 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 little bit of turning here and there, so, so maybe things will improve. But I I definitely feel more hopeful now than I used to, for sure. There was one track of of your band's music where the words are something like, uh, "We could run, run, run That's from it, right. but we can't hide from Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. We only got one world, and we have to live right. on it." Right. The Audubon Society used that, in fact, for a, a a short. They made a video out of it, with featuring lots of pictures of endangered species and things like that. Yeah, it's. Yeah, this is. Uh, I mean, this is one of those things that 
for us, it's like you're preaching to the choir, you know yeah. what I mean? Because our fan fans are already conscious of all this stuff, and they do what they can already. But we're we're making an effort to try to uh, uh, just inform more people about how complex environmental problems are, and but that they're not hopeless. They're just complex, and that you have to look around for solutions, and they're out there. And if everybody used their ingenuity and their, you know, I mean, this stuff can be solved, but we got to do it quick. Yeah. It's got to happen pretty quick. That's about it. Joey, thanks very much. I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. My pleasure. Thanks, a man. Cool. I hope it's at all helpful on any level. Can you describe briefly how we possibly yeah, can I've this? explained this is basically a tool for people on the islands to, to battle with the geothermal, and we'll be spreading it on the mainland. If we're lucky enough, we try to get it on higher quality and up to cable. Right. But uh, certainly the first, in, uh, the first object is to get a, a tool for citizens. Right. Citizens. Absolutely. So we'll let you know how we do use it. Yeah, do let me know. That would be, I'd be helpful for me. Also, any information that you have that you think that I could, that you think that you want spread around a little. I tell you what, you know, I've you got, I would like to keep me you on your mail. Keep on a, or just for a second. Just yeah, you're going to keep No, that's okay. No, I mean, just hold on to it while we finish that. Okay, why don't I get, I've got a little uh, booklet I've done on waste management. Oh, I'd love that. Yeah. Okay, good. Sure. Let me go and get that. Excellent. And um, the other thing I was wondering, it, it, that that track, we've only got one world uh -huh. to live on. Can we use yes, that in a video Yes, you can. Tape? Absolutely. Yeah. Great. 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 Sure. Fantastic. I'll tell you what you'll have to do. There's yeah. one one formality. You. You'll have to f to write to a person in our organization, Annette Flowers, is her name. She was the great event office in San Rafael. Yeah. Tina has all those numbers. Okay, okay. We'll yeah. do it. And she's our publishing person. Okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you that you can prepare for it. Yeah. It's already okay. Great. Yeah. Hey, wonderful. Really yeah. good meeting you. My, My pleasure. pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, really. thanks a lot. Great. It's uh, little enough, God knows. I'm going to get that leaflet. Don't forget this. Oh, no. Oh, his. I would be killed. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot.